Okay, so this is called an invention task, and we're gonna do a couple of these this year, which will help you sort of think about the concept without the physics first, and then we'll kind of add the physics in, okay? So this one's about popcorn popping, and it says an index is a number that helps people compare things, like miles per gallon is an index of how well a car uses gas, batting average is an index of how well a baseball player hits, and grades are an index of how well students perform on a test. All right, so basically you have three pictures here of three different popcorn brands, um, and we wanna calculate some kind of an index that will help us compare them to see which one pops the fastest, okay? Um, there are three different companies, and there are some rules. Uh, the same brand of popcorn pops at the same speed, right? So Hot Pops only gets one number. Hip Hop only gets one number. Uh, you have to use the same procedure for each brand, right, so that it's a fair comparison. And a big index value should mean that the popcorn pops faster, okay? A small value should mean that the popcorn pops slower, all right? Um, the most important thing is to remember that done is um, is just some random time in the future. It has, it, it, there's no time. It's not like 10 seconds later, 20 seconds later. It's just some random time later, Okay. Uh, also, since the picture on this looks really, really good, the light colored and dark colored popcorns are all the same, right? So everything you see in the bowl is a kernel that has already popped, okay? You cannot see the ones that have not popped, all right? So what you need to do uh, for this is figure out how you're going to calculate and explain how you would get this index number for each brand that would show how fast it pops, all right? So normally, if we were in class all together, we would spend some time talking, we would spend some time, you know, working on this, and we may or may not have the opportunity to do that, but I, we highly encourage you to call your friends, to talk to your friends, to uh, talk to other people in the class, and think about these and talk through and work these out together, okay? So um, try it on your own. If you need a hint, you can click the hint button, okay? And then when you're finished, click the last video so that you can see how to calculate it, all right? But please do it yourself first. You only get out what you put in, okay? So you need to actually try it, okay? So uh, done is some random time later, and then every kernel you see is a kernel that is popped regardless of whether it looks dark or not. Good luck.